Have you seen Walter Quinn today? Yes. And she's her usual self, despite everything. I can't believe she can be quite so nonchalant. Why are you so alarmed by her powers? They could be invaluable in battle. Oh, that hex was incredible. There's no doubt about that. But I worry that her moral compass has become distorted. Perhaps that's just the way she is, Fred. By the way, she'll keep us on our toes. Indeed. All right. I see it now. I understand. Surely not! I object. All the more reason. Understood. Excuse me. Castavir, I wanted to ask you something about Verma. Certainly, as long as you don't expect me to spill the Republic's secrets. You mentioned that there were unsavory rumors about the Vermin representative. What are they? <laughs> well, that certainly qualifies as a secret. Still, I suppose I've already renounced my citizenship. In short, it's thought that he pulled some strings to ensure victory in the election. Forging ballots, that kind of thing? Worse. He abducted opposition supporters. This caused outrage at first, of course. But soon people were too scared to speak up. He was the only candidate on the ballot in the end. Some would say that still counts as winning on merit. Hmm. Before long, he was one of the Alliance's top dogs. But he could rise no further. After all, such a divided alliance is no match for the Empire. Really? Then perhaps you ought to have defected to the Empire instead. Perhaps so, but easy victories have never interested me. And I value freedom above all else. That's why I came to Deerfield, an island I knew nothing about. Perfect place to clean your conscience after all the dirty work you did. Ha <laughs> ha! I'd rather not think about that. Hmm. What's that smell? Well, what a charming greeting. And it's probably the scent of death you're noticing. I've been using a lot of necromancy of late. No, it's not that. It's something else. It's... Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. This smell is sometimes produced when synthesizing herbs for ancient sorcery. It's rather seductive, isn't it? I've heard it can put some people in a trance-like state. Unbelievable. Not content with corpses, you intend to bend the living to your will as well. Don't be ridiculous, I've done no such thing. Unless you're saying I've charmed you. You're a fool. 
Don't you know that hexes invariably invade their caster's mind? You must know that frequent use will corrupt your own existence. Oh, so you're concerned about me, are you? Of course I am. Well, you needn't worry. I am strong enough. Nothing can corrupt me. Baselessly confident, as always. Mind that you don't fall prey to your own pride. You're one to talk about baseless confidence. <laughs> Perhaps we are birds of a feather in that regard. today is to suppress a riot in Hodlum, a slum in Centralfield. The doctrine of democracy, invented on the continent, has begun to take root among the commoners. The reason for the sudden spread of democracy in the slums, is this due to refugees from Southfield taking up residence there? Yes, the people's growing discontent is manifesting itself as violent riots and looting. You must urgently restore the peace. Bear in mind, however, that the rioters are not soldiers. They are civilians, unaccustomed to fighting. It is vital that casualties are kept to a minimum. Understood. Why should rioters receive special treatment? An enemy is an enemy. I, for one, shan't be going easy on them. Through our recent excursions, the Blue Foxes have built up a formidable reputation in Central Field. It is likely that some rioters will immediately surrender their arms upon your arrival. That's right. All the more reason to avoid bloodshed. I don't make concessions in battle. They may be vulnerable, people coerced into participating. So you will have to on this occasion, quote unquote. It's their own fault for being completely powerless and spineless. Why should I feel any pity? What's wrong with you? As mercenaries, our livelihood is in violence. Sometimes we must take lives, but you can they order for no unnecessary deaths. We must uphold that. Let us depart. Hmm. No one told me we'd have to fight the Blue Foxes. I'm out. There's no way we can beat him. You think this is a game you can quit any time? You want to die a dog's death in poverty instead? But what chance do we stand against them? They're disorganized. Without a strong leader, they can't fight as a unit. That alone should teach them that democracy is an unrealistic ideal. Is it? Under the right guidance, I think it could make the world a better place. Guidance? Isk, the only guidance commoners need is from their king. This isn't a political movement. It's a pretext for outlaws to stir up trouble. Come on, Fred. People are risking their lives to express their opposition to the royal government. Have you not thought about why that might be? Mm. All they want is a normal life for their family and friends. Their methods might be wrong, but I wouldn't dismiss their plight because of that. <sighs> we must seize control of this place and ensure our defenses remain unbroken. Stay focused. The enemy is right in front of us. I'm well aware. I'll say this but once more. Please do not be reckless, Walter Quinn. Me? Reckless? Perish the thought.
Very well. An attack right away. I understand very well. Understood. Got it. Blue foxes. We're dead if we don't take them out. There's nothing more terrifying than a man with nothing to lose. And a whole mob of such men is even worse. It won't be easy trying to quell them. But quell them we will. Calmly and carefully. On my way. Right away. Very well. I understand.
Understood. even bringing out the Cavaliers. What a warm welcome this is. This looks like fun. Maybe it's time for me to show what I can really do. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't take orders from you. Walter Quinn, Iscarion, stay focused. The enemy's approaching. I've got it. Understood. Very well. Understood. Very well. I'll take you down. Sense. 
Take you down. Next time. I've got it. Right away. Go ahead. Our base is under attack. Things wouldn't have got so messy if we'd fought with our all from the start. my dress. And now you will die. I understand. I'll take you down. Next time. Understood. Understood.
I've learned some new tricks. Have you lost your mind? Oh dear, they must be even weaker than I thought. Walter Quinn, our orders! That's the last one, I promise. Last one? How many have you killed? Maybe... ten? Ten? These are ordinary people, fooled into disorder by the hollow promise of a better life. They may have broken the law, but they certainly don't deserve death. Look, we stopped the riot, didn't we? What's the problem? The problem is that the Blue Foxes have slaughtered defenseless civilians. That's what people will be saying about us now. We've lost the good reputation we've worked so hard to earn. But a bad reputation has its advantages too, you know? You... did this on purpose. Just to make life difficult. Let's pick this up later, Fred. We have to go. Over six months had passed since the Trovelt Chauvian Empire captured Tagaria naval base. Several attempts were made to retake the base during this period, but Commander Osmaldo Selica's garrison has proved impossible to displace. Osmaldo's forces are clearly superior, yet he has made no attempt to push on beyond Tagaria. A state of affairs that left the royal government perplexed as to his motives. In the meantime, the Blue Foxes have been put to work suppressing riots in the slums of Central Field. While doing so, Walter Quinn shocks her comrades by ignoring orders and deploying lethal force. On the one hand, Walter Quinn's violent conduct achieves the desired result. The terrified rioters promptly surrender. On the other hand, it severely tarnishes the Blue Fox's reputation, rightly or wrongly mocking them as ruthless killers. As a result, their patron, Duke Hende, has also become a target for criticism from other members of the Lord's Council. Though this did little to discourage him, from continuing to strengthen his grip over Southfield. Before the month was up, the Duke had become the de facto ruler of the entire region. Lorraine, we require an urgent update regarding the situation at Tagaria. Of course. But may I ask why? We're going to retake it. What? what D Duke Hende hasn't mentioned any such plans. He's preoccupied with Southfield at the moment. A preoccupation that is causing his position on the council to grow weaker by the day. It's not a problem for us yet, but it will make life difficult in the long term. However, if we liberate the base, well, then the Duke's detractors would have to stop their carping about his involvement in Southfield. And have you thought of a strategy? The royal army appears to be at a loss thus far. I have a strategy, and I'm confident that we will succeed. Mm, very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How about this? Why, yes. Anyway.
Understood. Who's this, Rias? Eumerida Barrius, the bounty huntress. She had been set to join the army as a private, but I offered her a place with us instead. She seems capable. Oh, I'd say you were. Wouldn't you, Eumerida? Yes. What about her background? She used to serve a noble house in Southfield. They were traders. They lost their estate, and Eumerida decided that the Royal Army was her only option. I see. Well, good work, Rias. I never knew you had such an eye for talent. Hey, what do you mean? Andreas, I have a question for you. What is it, Tanova? How do you go about selecting members for the Blue Foxes? The unit contains knights, mercenaries, foreign soldiers, thieves, capable warriors, one and all. I find people with talent, that's all. Indeed. I doubt I have ever seen such a force. Not even in my time in King Regald's guards. You defended King Regald? Yes. Our ranks were full of honorable knights, but over time their dedication waned. They began to act for their own profit, thinking only of ways to best their competition. You left out of disgust for what they had become. I did. And now, I pray that the Blue Foxes do not fall prey to the same ailment. We shall not. You seem very certain of that. I have not a single doubt. a tale for you, Andreas. Have you now? I'd been hoping to speak to you too, as it happens. Who were those men who visited you earlier? They work for nobles who recently moved from Southfield to Centralfield. It seems they've made quite the fortune from some sordid dealings, and are in need of bodyguards. It was a request for the Blue Foxes? No. They wanted me to abandon the unit and take some able hands with me. So I put your name forward as well. If you leave, I shall follow. I have no intention of leaving. They say they'll pay double. It could be quadruple and it would make no difference. Very well. I know a man who can't be convinced when I see one. I have no interest, but if you want to leave, I shan't stop you. No, I'm staying. I'm not about to leave just because you've told me I can. I do what you will. I've not the attachment to you that you may think I do. That much is plain, but you'll come around eventually.
Would you cut that out? It couldn't be. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Hmm. Surely not. Take you down. You're in my sights. Full 
Understood. 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 
very well. Understood. Take you down. Very well. Yet ah! another foe defeated. I've got it. You ah! are fun. Oh, you just died. Understood. Got it. I've got it. I understand. Next time. On my way. Oh, they just died right away. Now. Go. Understood. On my way. I understand. Secured. I've got it. Go. Right away.
position! Fire! My sense. Understood. You're in my sights. I've got it. Understood. Away. <laughs> You're in my sights. Defeated. Understood. Go. I understand. Push forward. Next time. Understood. Hours now. I've got it. I understand. Scratch! Ugh. You're not as 
passing around. Fall into ranks. I will perform a magical ritual. Be gone with you. Taking control. Very well. Understood. My sons.
very well. You're in my sights. My sons. Ever more. 